Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the gas system from Daniel Madison, Eric Jones, Kaylin Morelli, and Adam Wilbur. What is it? It is a, it's a gaff system. Uh, you're getting a DVD and you're getting a gaffed deck of cards that goes along with the instruction. Uh, the two work hand in hand. You can't really use the DVD without the deck and you can't really use the deck without the DVD. Uh, so they kind of uh, marry together. You have to use them together. Uh, this was released through Illusionist. And if you'd like to learn more about this product, you can visit illusionist.com. Uh, but in the meantime, if you want to see what it looks like, here it is. All right, so that was the gaff system from illusionist.com. We always ask a couple of questions about all of the magic videos, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get two DVDs. There's two DVDs inside of this. Uh, the teaching is split up between the four different people, Daniel Madison, Eric Jones, Gail Morelli, and Adam Wilber. Uh, they split all the teaching up. Uh, there are some live performances, not all. Uh, in fact, a lot of the tricks don't have live performances. And then you're getting this deck of cards, this deck of cards right here that looks like one of the artifice decks, one of the standard artifice decks from Illusionist. It's in the emerald uh, color, it's in the emerald tuck case. And in this box, you're getting 54 gaff cards, okay? All right, so standard questions like, is it what I thought? How are the angles? How much practice does it require? How much setup and reset is there? Can it be inspected? All of that varies from trick to trick. Uh, and you're gonna have to just take into consideration that they're all gaff tricks, right? And so you're gonna have angles, you're gonna have issues with uh, things being inspectable, and so just going into it, you understand that this is gaff magic and it's kind of a little different than just your standard uh, card magic. Also, that said, um, because these are Artifice brand gaffs, you're gonna need to go out to illusions.com and make sure that you have an Artifice brand deck to perform with it. So you're not just pulling these cards out of your pocket, you know, you're get, you have the emerald deck that matches the gaff set, or you've got the cobalt blue, or you've got tundra white, okay? And so there are gaffs in this tuck case that'll match every single one of the different artifice decks, okay? So just going into it, just know that you're probably gonna have to have at least one of the other colors in order to perform some of these tricks. All right, so I wanna go through the cards in the gaff deck really quick. Um, not gonna really tell you what the cards do, I'm not gonna tell you the reveals of the magic tricks, but I do wanna show you uh, just the cards that are included uh, so you can see how many you're gonna get of each effect and then um, tell you a little bit about uh, what it might require in addition. So, all right, so this first card right here, this is for a trick called Miss Made Jack. And to do this trick, you're gonna have to wreck one of your normal Jack of Clubs from an Artifice deck. So uh, you'll have to take a, a normal Jack of Clubs, destroy it, and make a, an additional gaff. Um, and so if you want to replace your jack, uh, you'll have to buy a second uh, Artifice deck. So that's just a heads up. Uh, this trick is a card reveal for a trick called Chap Trick. So it's a chapstick uh, reveal. So you're getting that many cards uh, to do the effect for this. Uh, this card right here, this is for a trick called TNRT. It's a torn and restored tuck case effect. And as you can see, you get one card for every single color of the Artifice series. So you only have one, and so if you're gonna do an actual physical tear, uh, you'll need a second tuck case every single time you do the trick. Um, this is for a trick called Shadow Play, and as you can see, it's a, a pretty cool gimmick, where, and you get one 
uh, for every single one of the Artifice decks. Uh, this card you can use over and over and over again, unless you decide you want to hand it out. If you want to hand it out, uh, then you'll lose it and you'll have to replace it. This next gimmick is for a trick called Meld. Okay, it's a torn and restored trick, kind of. Uh, and uh, you'll have to make your gimmick from this. Uh, there's a little bit of arts and crafts, but in the end you'll have a pretty cool uh, gimmick you'll be able to use over and over again. So this next set of cards uh, is for a trick with the kings and it's called Hoarders. And as you can see, uh, that's how many cards you get. Uh, for that and so it's kind of just like a four phase uh, king routine and so that is pretty cool. These next two cards are for a trick called Morph where you're literally morphing one card into the next. These two cards are for a trick called Side Effect. As you can see it looks like the side of a deck of cards. Um, I like this trick. I wish they had talked about how to get into this trick. There was no uh, video explanation about how to set it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, these two jokers are for a trick called On Point. As you can see, one's pointing one way and one's pointing the next. And you'll be able to use these jokers over and over again. This next set of cards is of course for Daniel Madison's infamous Angle Z trick. Uh, usually with this trick, uh, you can only do the trick once with every single card. Uh, Daniel does offer a way that you can do it uh, over and over again, but I think this trick works best when you give these cards out as a souvenir. These next couple cards are for a trick called Half Vanish, uh, and it is a card you can reuse over and over again. These two Exploded Kings are for a trick called Magnify, and again, it is a trick that you can use uh, multiple times. These next three Tuck Case cards are for a trick called Peak Box, and to utilize these three gaffs, you will have to destroy a normal Tuck Case. Uh, these cards right here are for a trick called Immaculate Reconnect. Uh, it's a trick that is a closer for a Paul Harris effect. And these last two cards are the label from a water bottle uh, that you can rip off and then reveal the card. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, it's high quality. High quality DVD, great studio, great live performances, all shot in Las Vegas, and you can't go wrong with any of these great teachers. So how's the teaching? Uh, the teaching is, uh, Kayla Morelli does all the live performances. He does them on the street in Las Vegas, but like I said, there's not that many live performances. I would have liked more, especially more for the money that you know, you're know you paying, but maybe something happened, that footage was lost, I don't know. Uh, and the second thing I had about the teaching was, even though you got all these great teachers, they do go over the slides that you need to know, but they don't necessarily teach you the slides or spend a lot of time on them. So you're going to have to either already be familiar with the slides or learn them quickly from the short amount of time that they give you on the DVD. They're not really, they're not really holding your hand through this DVD. These aren't baby steps. Um, these teachers are probably expecting you to already be at a certain level of magic uh, going into this. All right, so what are the positives? Positives for the gaff system. These are crazy gaff tricks, crazy gaff tricks that are very creative. Uh, mostly, more than likely, a lot of magicians have never seen gaff tricks like this, especially spectators have never seen gaff tricks like this. So I think one really cool positive to this is they're very creative, very outside the box, uh, very unique. Also another positive is you got really great teachers. I mean, wow, to have this, assembly of minds uh, all on one DVD. Peter McKinnon is even uh, in there somewhere and he, he makes an appearance and so that's cool too. Great minds, great teaching, uh, highly recommend it. All right, so what are the negatives to the gaff system? Like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These don't have to be the negatives that you see, these are just the negatives that I see. Um, most of the tricks on here are disposable, okay? Meaning you're gonna tear things up. You're gonna tear boxes up, you're gonna tear cards up, okay? And that's gonna require you to have more cards if you wanna do the trick again. My advice, when you do some of these tricks, make sure you're doing them for multiple people, okay? You're spending some money on this, so make sure you're getting bang for your buck. Some of them are gonna be hard to practice because you're gonna to have to practice tearing. And once you tear something, you destroy it. So practice maybe on things that you don't care about. Um, so th there is some disadvantage to having a lot of disposable tricks. It means that you'll have to repurchase either the standard artifice deck or you'll have to repurchase the gaff deck in order to do some of these tricks over and over again, especially if you hand out and give away some of these gas. And I think this is what these guys would recommend. This is what I would recommend. This is gonna be the most powerful thing is for you to give your gas away. And I know you're thinking, I spent so much money on this and I don't wanna give it away, I wanna keep it. See, that's the problem with some magic is that we show somebody a special card and then we pull it back like, ooh, this is special. You know, I paid a lot of money for this or I bought this, so I'm gonna keep this. But truly, if you were a magician and you could really do the things you say you do, you wouldn't care about letting people keep the gimmicked cards. 
because in your mind, you're thinking, I could just make another one. And so I think there's some element to giving these cards away, destroying them, uh, that's gonna be more impactful for your magic, but you might think that's a disadvantage when it comes to cost. Another disadvantage that I found, uh, there's a trick in here called porters, uh, the, and the backs of the cards are green. When compared with my actual emerald deck of artifice, the green colors don't match up, so the colors aren't the same. I just kind of thought that was uh, kind of lame. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, kind of like what I said before in the, the negative section, it is $75. $75, you're getting 15 tricks. Now that's $75 for the DVD and the deck, okay? That's what it is together. Once you have the DVD, you don't need to buy it again. You can obviously just continue to buy the deck. I think it's around $25, $30, somewhere in there. Uh, so I think, yes, with the right perspective, $35 is, is a good price. Some of these tricks you can do over and over again. You won't need to replace the tricks. Some of them you can do only a few times. Uh, you'll get, you'll have to get a new deck or get new gaffes. For instance, Angle Z, uh, you can do that trick seven times, but you can only do it three times in green and four times in blue, okay? Just as, a, just as an example. But like Immaculate Reconnect, you can only do it twice. You can only do it once in green and once in white. Uh, and then you'll need a brand new Artifice deck again to, to do the trick. Uh, magnify though or on point you can do those over and over again uh, so that's a, a plus side but uh, I think if this is the kind of magic you want to do then it's definitely worth your money all right so who would like this I think anybody who's fans already of Daniel Madison Eric Jones Kayla Morelli Adam Wilbur uh, would like this I think anyone who's been a fan of any of the illusionist gaff decks that have come out in the past I think would like this I think if you just love gaff magic and you like all that crazy stuff or you collect gaff cards you would definitely like the gaff system from illusionist.com all right, so that is my review for the GAF system from Illusionist.com. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at Illusionist.com.